it's time to get my Christmas presents wrapped. I love that so many of you look forward to this video every year. If this is the first video of mine that you've watched or you're um, new around here and you've not seen one of my wrap with me's before, I essentially show you all the Christmas presents that I've got mostly for um, Delilah. Word of warning, if you're watching this with young children around and you maybe don't want them to hear about some Father Christmas Santa stuff then maybe watch this video later when they're not around so i show the gifts and we also hang out whilst i wrap them i'm not sure why i'm getting comfy because i haven't bought all the presents down i've got a um i bought a few down here but i still need to go get the others from upstairs i've had everything hidden here for the last couple of months i've been very organized i started getting bits here and there from about october beginning of october to about end of november I am so excited to show you everything we got Delilah this year. This is the first year that she's had lots of stuff put under the tree. In the past we've ended up getting quite big presents, like we got her doll's house last year. A few years ago we did her Ikea kitchen and then she tends to have her stocking and the odd present under the tree from us. Whereas this year she's got lots of smaller bits so she's going to be very excited to see lots of presents under the tree for her. Where shall I start. I'll start with our main present from us and all the tree bits and then I'll go on to her stocking. We always do stocking from Father Christmas and then anything else under the tree is from us. Main present and she has wanted this for so long. After looking around and reading all the reviews I came across baby Ellie. It was either going to be between this or a baby Annabelle but Although this one retails more expensive, almost double the price of a baby Annabelle, I purchased this for almost half the price of a baby Annabelle. She's got a lot of facial expressions and she makes lots of sounds. There's a necklace in there that she can wear. She um, smiles and giggles and whatnot when um, she detects the necklace. So if Delilah's wearing it, if Delilah were to pick her up or be near her, she'd smile at her. Comes with a bottle and a dummy and a potty. I did buy her a change of clothes. These are from Cam Cam. For some reason I thought she was in a baby grow which is why I bought this but um, it's not a baby grow, it's a dress. But she has choice now so that is the present of the year Delilah has been asking for. I think she's gonna be very happy with that. I can't wait for her to see it. I picked her up some more aqua beads, specifically unicorn aqua beads. She has She's had pretty much every aqua bead set that you can find on the market. Um, she loves them. I wanted to find her a Christmas one, but the only one I could find was an Advent one. And then I came across this one and I thought, she's going to love that. She loves aqua beads. She loves unicorns. I bought her a couple of bits for her kitchen. This is a wooden cake set. She loves playing with her kitchen still. And I know she's going to love this. Everything I can possibly link, I will link to any of these presents, any of the wrapping paper, I would do my best to link as much as I can. The other thing is this wooden burger meal set. She has always called McDonald's Hot Donalds and um, I know that she'll be so excited to be able to make her own Hot Donalds Happy Meal. So in here we've got the pieces to make the burger, the drinks cut with a lid and a straw and a packet of chips or fries. She also loves a puzzle. She has a few of these floor puzzles by Petit Collage. I found a Christmas one so I thought she'd like that. Oh this is also for baby. A change of hat and shoes. But again if it doesn't fit her then um, she can use this for her dinkum dolly because this is actually specifically for the other doll that she has. I came across this wooden, uh, wooden hairdressing. Yeah wooden hairdresser set. I found it on Scandiborn. Um, she has a, years ago I bought her a wooden makeup set which she still plays with today. I thought she'd really love this. It's packaged so nicely. Comes with a bag. It's got a mirror and then we've got some hairspray, straighteners, little hair dryer, um, different attachments for the hair dryer that are magnetic so they just um, pop on and off. A razor, a brush, 
and also another another razor so she can do mine and Doug's hair everything else is for her doll's house this is my favorite bit this is the bit that i've been really looking forward to showing you last year we bought her a doll's house the um, is it malig i don't think i'm saying it right but it's the house with all the mice in it lives in the corner over there i've had lots of questions asking if Delilah loves her doll's house, if she plays with it. I would say over the last year, the older she's got, the more she's played with it. I mean, she loved it the day she got it, but she, um, I'd say she loves it even more now. The stuff for it is so expensive that um, it's one of those things that will um, get her bits every Christmas for. With these items, I'm going to wrap them up, put them back upstairs, and then on Christmas Eve, I'm going to put them in the doll's house around the Christmas tree that she has in there for them however this is the christmas tree and this is the size of just one of the items i guess if we put our fridge next to, next to our christmas tree that would be quite true to size but yeah i don't know i'll try and fit all the pieces um around the tree first new item a fridge they've got lots of food bits in the kitchen with nowhere to put them but now She'll have a fridge to be able to put all their stuff in. It even has a mini freezer at the top. A room that they don't have yet is a bathroom. So I hunted high and low for a bath. I find some of this stuff is quite hard to get. You have to shop around. I do find a lot of this stuff on Truva and then the odd independent shop. This is the bath. How cute. It's a metal bath. Everything's made out of metal or wood. Even got a plug hole. How adorable. To go with the bath, got... A bath mat because they can't be sleeping over when they get out of the bath. I remember seeing this last year when I got the house, but I decided not to um not to get it. It's this mouse in a a bowl. It's got a shower cap on, and it even comes with. I really want to get him out to show you. It even comes with a baby brush and a tiny sponge. I mean, just. So cute. I actually think I'm going to pop this one in her stocking. Picked up this sofa, which I completely forgot to get the armchair to go with it, but um, the sofa will do for now. It folds out and then Velcro's into place, so I'll have um, a sofa and somewhere to sit. She has a mop and a washing machine and an iron with an ironing board. I thought to go with the cleaning stuff she has, she could have this drying rack with pegs so when she's done their clothes washing she can then hang them out before she irons and then also picked her up this um broom set oh my god it's the cutest thing this all this stuff is just so cute it's a um dustpan and brush she has quite a few baby mice so i thought she'd really like having potties for them so i got a pink and a white one and the last couple of bits we have this blender for the kitchen and then another bed there's a crib for the babies and a double bed for the grown-ups but she has quite a lot of mice and i thought she would like one more bed for either sister or brother mouse so i got this one with the white frame i now feel like her house is pretty much fully kitted i mean you wouldn't believe there's still so many bits i could get her they even have camping mice and you can buy a tent and they have rucksacks let's show you what's in her stocking and then i need to get on and wrap all this stuff before she gets home from school her stocking is the same stocking she's had since her first christmas it's from gathers and bows if they're still selling these i will link these if they don't or i can link both the company i bought her bed in from poppy and honesty they do almost identical stockings to this some hatchimals because she loves them we bought her the pink one for her birthday last year so i bought her the blue one is it blue or purple blue i think they say it's blue so i bought her yeah i bought her the blue one um for her stocking i like that it comes in a case because they've got a place to be it's not just random bits all over the place and then she doesn't lose them because they've got somewhere to live found these shell hair clips from oh I've, i know the brand but i never know how to pronounce it um but i'll link them if i can find them bought her some bits from lush because she's obsessed thought she would love this snow fairy shower gel put them in here because i don't actually have bags for these but i got her a candy cane bubble bar 
and I'm not sure what this is called but she calls it an Elsa bath bomb because of the snowflake she loves this one picked her up what I thought were unicorn pencils but actually inside they're just they're just plain pencils for some reason I thought they would have unicorn patterns on them probably stick some gold chocolate coins in there and um, the last thing is this Dory protector. I thought she'd specifically like this one because it's a fairy tale one. It's a torch with different slides. I don't know if you'll be able to see if I hold it up close to the camera. You see there's different images. I thought that was a really um, sweet stocking filler that she'd um, really like. I'm thinking wrap the big presents to go under the tree first and then go from there see how much I can get done. I think in another vlog I'll show you what I bought Doug and my mum, my grandma. Get this hair off my face. It's not the hair that I necessarily mind. Like I don't mind these bits that fall down. So it's a lot of weight here. So it's nice to get a lot of it up. I've got all my wrapping paper here. Also, look how big this tote bag is. I got it with an order. If you donated money, you got a um, you got one of these canvas bags. I was thinking it was going to be half the size, <laughs> and it's massive. I've got all my wrapping paper here. I use one of these two to wrap the big one in. I've shown all of this wrapping paper in another in another vlog. I clearly really like this one i've used it for a couple of years now i didn't realize i already had two rolls in the um in my office because this year i bought another one two three four i'm not going to be running out of this paper anytime soon and then of course we've got the trusted trusty um brown paper and then i have this which i picked up from oliver bonus oh there we go there's all of a bonus right there. I've not given much thought into how I'm going to wrap things this year. Got my big box of tape and ribbon and things in here. I did pick up some new ribbon this year. I found this lovely pink velvet ribbon and this green gingham ribbon, which I thought would be really sweet with... Whoopsie! <laughs> which I thought would be really sweet with the brown parcel paper. I still have my stamp set which I use for tags which I probably won't need to, I won't need to use today because it's all Delilah stuff. Getting some Christmas songs on. Just about. Never has it been such a battle to wrap a present but I've managed it. On one side I had to cut out a teeny tiny bit of um the other wrapping paper to just fill a gap i want to stick a ribbon on it i really want a big velvet ribbon i don't have any big velvet ribbons apart from this one it's not that thick and it's black and i think she'd much prefer a pink one i don't know whether to do this lovely ribbon or um or just go with this which i think is left over from a birthday present one year yeah i'm gonna go for the pink because i think she'll prefer that merry christmas darling on this christmas Children and shouts of glee But since 
managed to get all the presents put under the tree wrapped everything else is gonna have to go back upstairs and be wrapped another day so i've got to get her from school soon so i need to hide presents i told myself this year that i'd have all day to wrap but i had some things i needed to do this morning and um, it's just not giving me enough time to wrap everything i shall continue my christmas wrapping in um in another vlog i have realized i should probably use a different wrapping paper for her stocking otherwise she might she might cotton on. Let me show you the presents so far. I have some gold bells somewhere, which I think would be really sweet on some of her presents because I know Delilah will really appreciate the ribbons and the bells and all the little details. The execution of the wrapping is appalling. <laughs> but we're not going to look at that and she's not going to care about that. So I've just got parcel paper, gingham bow. This is probably the, the worst wrapped present. <laughs> look at that. But if I put it under the tree, like that no one will know so i've done ribbon on there I've done a couple of plain ones with no ribbons i'm almost certain this christmas dog paper is also merry merry here i've put together the two extra items for her dolly or nutcracker paper and then this is obviously her dolly with the um big bow on top i'm trying to think where to put this but it's a shame to put it at the back but there is the most room around the side of the tree I might see if i can tuck it in here it might be a bit too big though. Mm. Yeah, it's too big for down there. Oh my goodness, this this song takes me back. I remember when it came out. <laughs> Whatever happened to the darkness? I'll tell you what, <laughs> this tote bag may be too big to just nip to the shop with, but um very handy to fit all my wrapping stuff in. Right, I've got five minutes. I was going to chuck this in the recycling and then I thought, no, this will be hours of entertainment for Delilah. I love it when we have presents under the tree. It makes it look complete, but also uh, covers up the wires because we, we have two sets of lights on our tree because one year our lights broke and i remember we couldn't find any lights the first lot we got were really orange so we ended up having to buy two sets and um, so that they were a nice color but one set wasn't enough on their own so we have two we have two lots plugged in so there's a lot of wires anyway i'm gonna go get delilah now i wonder what her reaction will be when she sees some presents under the tree i'm really hoping i can trust her not to try and take her sneaky peek she's always been quite good but i think the older she gets the more she's going to uh, test her luck oh, i remember doing that i remember feeling presents and sticking them back and i'm sure my mum must have noticed i was very good at covering my tracks but i do wonder if my mum noticed did any of you do that i can't be the only one that used to just unpick just a, just a little bit some of the presents were a no-go if they were really tightly done but some of them were just a little little bit loose and i'd a little bit <laughs> Oh, what is this for? That was from wrapping paper. I thought you might like that because um, it might be fun to play with. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. That's a lot of presents. Can I just see them? Lovely. I can see you making presents. <laughs> what is it? I can't tell you that. It's the nutcracker. Nutcracker wrapping paper, yeah. It's not not it's not a nutcracker toy, no. But I thought you'd like the wrapping paper. Mm. Going to see if this one wants to watch the um the CBBS. It's not a pantomime. It's a I think they call it story. What's it called? I put a reminder on my phone a few weeks ago, and it was on at the weekend, so we can watch it on catch up. Oh, it's a CBBS Christmas Storyland. I'm just getting myself a snack. I'm a bit peckish. Side note, these black truffle crisps are so good. I mean, I've always been a fan of 
where are they oh we don't actually have any we've eaten them all we're big fans of the ms truffle and olive oil crisps but i have to say even though they are extortionate these are one level up and they are they are very nice where's the remote you were sat on it <laughs> i think in every vlog recently we've been sat having snacks and watching telly but hey it's christmas a pumpkin carriage on clouds how many cheddars do you have there one two three christmas four five but dilly dally still had a long way to go before he got to the Empress's palace. Doug's home, so I've left him and Delilah to it. My hormones have knocked me for six this month. They usually do. Last month wasn't too bad, which was rare. This month I feel all out of sorts and I'm really, um, I feel really achy and there's nothing nicer than getting in a warm bath when you feel achy. Get my stash of bath bombs and bubble bars from under the bed. I use my big Christmas present one. Pop, pop. The other day, I think I might actually go for a bubble bath. That was actually mine. You've had your one, that one's actually mine. Oh, <laughs> Cheeky monkey. Similar. Well, it's the same, but they sent you one and they sent me one. Oh. Oh. That's a lovely one. Oh, it is, isn't it? Does it smell nice? Yum. <laughs> Look at your nose. Did you want to write some Christmas cards with Daddy? Who are you going to do first? Are you going to do Ben and Melissa or are you going to do Nana and Pops? Are you going to do Great Grandma and Granddad? Found these cards I in think anthropology. I this one. You think that one? For my grandma. For your grandma. I have two grandmas. You one Great Grandma and one you have just You technically grandma. have four. Because yeah. you have two. Because Nana's a grandma technically and so is, my, so is Sasa a grandma technically. And then you have two great grandmas. Yeah. No. Three great grandmas. No, hang on. Three great grandmas. You have five. You have five grandmas. Three great and two Normal. not great. <laughs> Normal. Wow, that's more than I ever had. Glittery. See, close. It's glittery. Oh, yeah. That one was a dog. So I picked these up in anthropology. I really like the um, the box. I'm going to use this box to store other Christmas cards in the future when I've used all these. Look how sweet the envelopes are. They've got Christmas trees on them. Looks like these two are going. Looks like these two are going to do some card writing whilst I'm in the bar. I was thinking this. I'll let you two discuss, and <laughs> you can decide. Take this one. This one and these. So you, this your one is grandma, great mummy's grandma, your grandma. My grandma is Sasa. Yeah. And Nana this and Pops. one is and my grandma and the normal grandma. Okay, come then. <laughs> Have fun guys. <laughs> I've been really enjoying using this orange shower scrub recently. I ordered this myself along with Delilah's stocking stuff. I wish you could smell this right now. It smells like Fanta or Tango. I think Tango and Fanta smell the same. I'm not sure. It looks like they got a few cards done. I just need to sign my name now. Dinner tonight, this is all plants, rigatoni carbonara. We had this back in the summer and it was really good. I find all plants a bit hit and miss. This one I love and there's a few others that I love from them. Um, but I find sometimes the portions are a bit small, um, for, well, for, for, for us anyway. I've been told we have big portions, so maybe it's just us. We're just gonna have this with some salad. Whilst dinner cooks, I thought I'd wrap a few more prezzies. Whenever I get deliveries with these bags in, I keep them and they've come in handy. I had nowhere to put the bath bomb and bubble bath, but now I do. I can just pop them in here. I'm gonna have 
have dinner and carry on wrapping so I will say goodbye now and I'll see you in the next vlog. Goodbye.